Yeah, can you list them for me one more time, please? I need it. I need the full list. This is very serious. One, overall impressions, including uh, name and mascot. Two, parking. Three, produce. Four, snacks. Five, frozen snacks. Six, cold snacks slash drinks. Seven, checkout. Eight, hoity toityness. Nine, bagging and carts. Ten, price. And then also, we can take into hot bar is eliminated, but we can take into consideration the food court. Okay. Yeah, I think that net, that takes the place of it. Um. Okay, I feel prepared now. Look, this episode has been in the works for almost four or five years. Uh, it started originally with me badgering mutual friends of ours to suggest to you guys that I would be a good guest and acting like it was an impartial third-party opinion. I'm glad we finally made this happen. But I definitely, look, I've had stress dreams about making sure this episode lives up to the standard of quality that Costco has given me in my life. Everything I think Costco, Costco has provided me with, not just the sort of peace of mind of knowing that I've done shopping that will last me for a good chunk of while, not just the state of relaxation I, I enter into once I walk past those big doors, but also I, I think the, the basic underlying ethics of the company. I feel like one of the things I like about the Doughboys podcast is that you tend to talk about the corporate culture of these places and the owners and the, the climates that they create around their businesses and all of that. And Costco is very famous for having one of the best wages. $20 an hour is the average as wow. of the special I watched, which was in 2012. They have full health care for all their employees. Um, and, and it's also based on a, a level of transparency that you know, they, they say their business model is based on the fact that I, I save the numbers here. They are 30% cheaper than most of their competitors in the grocery space, 50% cheaper than department stores with equivalent items. And the way they accomplish that is they never mark anything up more than 15%. Now, what they're banking wow. on is that when you're there, you'll buy a greater number of items. And that's where they make their money back. But there's no place where they're sticking it to you. And as I was watching this man, James Sengel, I said his name wrong earlier, the founder who resigned in 2012 is still alive, talking about the culture. He said that that's what it's about. It's about the culture first and foremost. We have to protect that. We can't slip. There is a discipline. And part of that is treating people well so that they like working here. They have very little turnover. People really work up the ranks at Costco, going from being checkout people to being the most powerful wine buyer in the world. Wow. Specific example in the special I watched last night. I'm forgetting her name. But I think all that's important because people at Costco tend to seem happy. A Vanessa aside, a crazy, crowded day aside. She was nice. I, li I, liked, I liked Vanessa. I, look, I, I spent the last two days interfacing with a woman named Pam having some of the best customer service I've ever received in my life trying to renew my membership. My customer I service need to was shout great, out to be clear. Yeah. For me, am I a little in the bag for this place because of my history with it? That 10 years, a golden run of Costco transforming me and making me into a better man. Yes, absolutely. Am I somewhat self-conscious of the fact that I think I tend to overrate things every single time I come on this podcast? Yes. Is it maybe a Doughboy's bump because I'm excited to be on the show? Possibly. But then I look back and I consider that you've asked me to rank three of my favorite things of all time. Tombstone Pizza, Costco, and Cranch. It's not my fault that we're talking about a holy <laughs> trinity here. Overall, the place is perfect. The name tells you everything you need to know. They are a cost-saving company. They have no mascot, but they don't need one. Mascots are a distraction. Parking, I assume, is good. I don't use it. I bring my granny cart. Produce, 10 out of 10. Snacks, 10 out of 10. Frozen <laughs> snacks, 10 out of 10. Cold drinks, 10 out of 10. Check out a breeze. <laughs> they don't bag it. You got to bring your own stuff. There's a learning curve, but once you learn it, it feels better for our planet. Are they hoity-toity? No. They're invested in the working man, woman, and non-binary person. The carts are huge. The prices can't be beat. Costco, 10 out of 10. Wow. Spirited wow. remarks from Griffin Newman. Well, ten I just watched out of ten. I just watched Network for the first time, and that was very similar to the "I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore" speech. 
Except you're happy, I think. Yeah, I get kind of, I get kind of a Regis energy from that. Yes. I'm so overjoyed, <laughs> and I want as much of it as you can give me. It's the opposite <laughs> of the network speech. Please, more. <laughs>